Ludwig left poop in the toilet yesterday. That's really gross. It was really gross. And then it was stuck in my nose. All I could smell was poop. But, but he's great. <laughs> he's great. He's great. Um, Welcome to Wine About It. <laughs> no. <laughs> we need to chat first. No. Hey, this is how we start Wine About It. Maya, please pay attention. You're on a podcast. Welcome to Wine About It. Who are you talking to? My dogs. Oh. Um, but you don't want to like run through. <laughs> Why do through? I look like a weird thing? No, I'm not going to run through. You need to run through stuff. You don't want like, to chat about before we start? No. Like, <laughs> you want to just do it? Time is money, baby. Okay. I'm here to start drama. No. <laughs> Please. <laughs> well, this is my time to shine. Um, okay. Welcome to Wine About It. Do you like our set? We're actually in the same room. Maya's just in that corner. I'm going to be honest, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it does. For this being, this is a curtain behind me. Those butterflies aren't glued on, so they might fall off. Oh. But I kind of, I, I went for one about a vibes, and I feel that I achieved them. I got a facial today, so my face is super red. So is your dress. There's also so many spiders in here now, because we haven't been in here for months. Good. Well, not they good for all too. of us. They have a home in the great wide wilderness. They like it in there. Do you think people are going to like our podcast now? <laughs> Probably really? not. I don't know. Okay. They seem excited about it, but it, I feel like it's one of those things where they're, it's like you look back fondly on things and then it comes back and you're like, oh, it's really bad. It's like watching High School Musical again. Oh, High School Musical is still good. <laughs> no, it's, dude, it's so bad. I, I watched it recently. It. I could not. It's so bad. I'm going to rewatch it now. Okay. Um, well, welcome to the podcast, everybody. Where should we start? I feel out of practice. I feel insecure. I feel out of practice. Uh, but you you did that before every podcast we ever did, though. And we did fine every time, so it's gonna be fine. We just have to, like, get into it. We gotta get rolling. Should we know? start with the wine? Yeah, sure. Everybody's favorite part of the podcast. Oh, Can let me you make me it. go to the grocery store to get matching wine with her today? Ugh. When I had right. no time to go to the grocery store. Well, you should have planned ahead. Ta da! Da 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 da! The only we, difference, yours is 2019, mine's 2021. Don't tell them! Oh, sorry. They're both 2019. You got the cheap ass version, I got the nice one. What? If yours is 2021, that's not as nice as mine. This was like $12. <laughs> Ludwig bought mine, I don't know. Oh. Um, okay. But we're posting, by the way, uh, if you guys don't know, we do have a Patreon, not to show only five minutes in, but we are posting the wine each week in the Patreon, so you can... We didn't this week, though, but... What? Well, what? Yeah, we still do it. Dummy, they haven't seen this. They're not watching us right now. Oh. Sorry. They right, can we're still get that. the wine. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. They'll be drinking it now. Get but this. If you're we not encourage on the Patreon, drinking. You won't. If you're 21. Especially if you're underage. In the U.S. No. Anywhere. <laughs> no. I actually, streamer awards, I messaged every a minor that was coming, anyone who was under the age of 21, and I said, hey, no funny business. That'll, that's enough. I think, well, there was also, like, bartenders IDing, but I made sure mm -hmm. to give each of them a stern talking to. There was a total of four people under the age of 21. Oh, okay. So it wasn't bad, but I did give them all a lecture. I'm just responsible, what can I say? Um, if this is a cork, I'm screwed. It's, it's not. twist off, right? Yeah. What are you, you're holding it. Does it look like I know, there's a but part? I didn't. I don't know. Okay. Oh. Wait. What is it? Pino, oh, it's Coupla Pinot Noir. Francis Coupla Diamond Collection, California Vineyards. It's like you're still here. Dramatic style, vibrant packaging. Okay, I don't know about vibrant packaging. It's blue. And fruit forward smooth wines are the signature of Francis Coppola Diamond Collection. Have you already drank it? No. Oh. Um, our Pinot Noir boost boasts a silky texture and dazzling perfume of crushed raspberries, rose petals, and tea leaves. I remember when I first started drinking, I'd read those and I'd be like, this is going to be so good. No, it all tastes the same. It never tastes like crushed raspberries. It all tastes the same to me. Um, luscious flavors of plums, strawberries, and spice. Do you guys know that I don't pork. even like wine? I don't like wine. Neither of us like wine. Wine about it. Wine about it. Okay, you ready? Alright. Well, I have to do the pour. 
But I'm holding my mic this week like Sorry. a dumbass. I can do it because I have a standing It's a new mic. podcast. Well, I want to do it. Wait, I'm doing it. I thought it was going to be white. I don't know. It says Pinot. Audio listeners, I'm peeing. Wait, that was <sighs> Audio listeners, I'm itching my eye. All right. right. Oh, Jinx. Wait, your wine glass is cuter. Well, yeah, that's because I'm rich. Mine's ugly. All right, ready? Yep. One, two, three, go. Mm. Mmm. Is yours cold or hot? Lukewarm. Mine's pretty cold, actually. That's nice. Mine isn't bad. Something's in my mouth. She spit it out. But it's not good. But it is wine still. It's wine. Wow. It tastes like wine. I can't wait to get Oh, God. Wasted. It smells like vinegar. I actually don't think I've drank since the last wine about it. I've been sober. I'm a sober I drank girl. Two nights ago. You have a problem, though. That's not true. I have not gotten drunk for, what is it, like a couple months now. Um, I decided recently I went out to a bar. And someone told me something really sad at the bar, and I sat at the bar, I cried for, like, genuinely, I, I told you about this, genuinely, it was, like, an hour or something, I sat there just crying. Can you share with the, the family? I don't remember what it was. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't remember how, how to Man, we live such a strange life, where things happen, and, like, only some of it we can talk about. I know. No, it was, it was, uh, it was... At this no. point, just lie and say it was something else. It was something else. <laughs> we'll just say the thing. Make up a story. It was about my... Somebody's dog died. Dog, yeah. And you cried for hours. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I wish I remembered what it was. I have no memory of this. Anyway. Which is sad, because uh, you probably told me. It was... Yeah, I, I cried for like... An hour. It was, I think it was an hour and a half I cried at the bar. And then I was super drunk, and then That's I went cringe. home. And the next day, I had like the worst hangover. And I felt uh, like... But I had Maybe to get up. Maybe you're dehydrated. Dehydrated. Yeah, from that's your tears. probably why it was, it was a hangover. Um, well, but no, I'm saying extra from your tears. Don't give me two. Oh, maybe. Um, then I had to get up the next day, and I was like, I have an organization to run. I'm way too old for this. Shit. I was like, I don't think I need to get drunk anymore. I think I'm just past the point where I need to get drunk. When was this? Um, two days ago? No, months oh. ago. Oh. Months ago. Um, I have like a drink when I go out now. I'll order waters at the bar at Shirley Temple sometimes if I'm feeling crazy. Ooh, spicy. But I love drinking beer after work. One. Such a pick-me girl. <laughs> Old Texan man. <laughs> but that's the only alcohol consumption I like anymore. I don't think I really want to get drunk anymore. I old. get- Oh, I lied. I so just lied to you. I get drunk at book club every time. <laughs> really? <laughs> like, I didn't know you guys drank. We don't. <laughs> That's embarrassing. I know. <laughs> Why do you do that? Because you're cause anxious. I, I'm anxious. Oh and I finally have unlocked that. I understand now. I understand that alcohol, like, does help, guys. Alcohol is good for you. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. But Judy has a problem. She thinks everything she says, that they'll hate her for it. And every time she leaves a social interaction, she's like... Oh my god, they're thinking about this and how weird I am. They're never going to invite me again. I know. I do that. I went to... So I went... I got invited to hiking, and it, it was with uh, some friends, and uh, Myth was supposed to come, and Myth is like... You know, Myth is someone that I've known for years, so I feel like I can, like, lean on him. And as I'm driving there, I'm on the phone with Maya, and I'm like, oh, shit. Myth's car got stolen. And Maya's like, gasp, that, like, oh, I hope Myth's okay. And I was like, he's not coming hiking. <laughs> I did not say gasp. <laughs> you shouldn't say gasp. But essentially, my focus was very selfish because I would, didn't want to go hiking without Myth because then I wouldn't have a person that I felt comfortable around. Um, and I was freaking out. So it was really messed up of Myth to get his car stolen that day. I think about that. Not but sure. I was really stressed. I almost turned around. Actually, another time. I was going to a party somewhat recently that I got invited to. Dude, I drove this all one is so way. stupid. This is so stupid. I drove all the way there, and I'm on the phone with Maya the whole time. I'm like, I can't go in. I can't go in. And I, I try to get there, like, three different times, and I keep taking the wrong road, and it's really confusing. I'm literally on Google Maps routing her. I'm like, did you see the building with these windows? Did you see the restaurant called blank? 
She's like, no, no, no. Even though I could I see lost. her location on my phone driving past them as I was asking her. It was so frustrating. <laughs> I was, was crazy. Lost. But was then lost. by the time we found the place, I found the parking garage that I was supposed to park in. I couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to go inside. And so I left. <laughs> she goes in the garage, gets there, and is like, I can't do this. Turns around, leaves. Mind you, this was like an hour detour. And so it was like an hour one way, and then I had to go an hour or two hours back because of my hour one way. It was crazy. I did my best. If I would have had some alcohol in the car. <laughs> oh, my God. Just kidding, guys. We're looking I'm for fine. sponsors for Wine About It. That's Anybody a bad time to... to say that. Yeah. It's I a actually joke. really don't drink often. Just in the car. Just not in the car. <laughs> just at book club. Oh, and the just a book club, this is but I can't drink at book club anymore because it, it's too embarrassing. That is embarrassing. Speaking of real drama, we have a we have book club um, this weekend. It's on Sunday. I have not started the book. That's really f***ed up of you. I know, because we're 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 we can't do audiobooks either. We've like made a rule that you have to read it, um, and. Uh, I haven't started, but I'll finish. It's only 250 pages. So if I do 50 pages a day, I'm like done by Friday. That's a lot. Is it? I don't know. I don't think it takes so. takes time. I'll be fine. I Probably. only read books on the plane. You don't fly anymore. So I guess you don't read. It's true. I'm kind well, of stoked about this, to be honest. Doing this virtually is so much easier for me. <laughs> I'm happy for you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so lonely. Um, well, I guess I guess the the hot topic of the hour. Everybody everybody wants to know the four one one. Um, what the hell happened? What the hell happened? What the hell happened? Let's get. Why into did it. you dump me? You oh came my crawling god! Back like every ex I've ever had. It was bad, guys. <laughs> it was bad. Let's get into it. There's so I don't even know like where to start and to be honest i haven't talked about it that much on my own platforms i've just like i've generally talked about it when i yeah. came back to streaming i said like i wasn't gonna come back this is why this is why i decided to come back but i've kept it pretty like pretty general um but so a bunch of stuff happened um that led me to take an indefinite break from my platforms and it was very ugly and not just in a like a oh no my career way or like oh no i'm getting all this hate way in like a much deeper like, <laughs> in like this industry is disgusting way not even the industry really? i truly like in a shattering my view of humanity way that's like fair. irreparably yeah like i i'm shocked i was thinking about this today when i was thinking about how i was going to talk about this i was like i'm shocked that i came back after all of this stuff happened presenting and looking and sounding like the same person because it was like that wow. life altering that experience i like i can't believe that i still seem like myself because <laughs> it was like it was nuts yeah um it was a crazy experience so uh, w when when all that happened i was just like super fucked up do i s does swearing matter Swearing does not matter because the uncensored episode goes on Patreon and oh, our editor has to... two days to edit uh, for this to go up He's on Wednesday. Have to edit it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, fine. I was super messed up um, from that and I was like, and I didn't want to come back to streaming. I didn't want to come back to content creation because I was like, I cannot do this again. It's like, I can barely do this now. Like, I will not be able to do it if something like this happens again. And so I didn't want to put myself in that position. And I was like, I have a degree. I'll go use it. I'll go get a normal job. I'll go be a normal person. But that was not an option because I have an animal sanctuary to run. Eminals. I have an organization to run. I have animals to feed. And I have employees to pay um, that moved out here to work for the animal sanctuary. And so I was like, I have to come back. I have no choice but to come back for Alveus. So, I decided to come back to content creation, but I was like, I have to come back on very different terms. I cannot come back to what it was like before. I, I, I have to be head down in my Ass own bubble. Fo <laughs> exactly. <laughs> focusing on conservation and focusing on Alveus, because that is the only reason I'm coming back. I don't even want to be back, but that's all I have the bandwidth for. Because I was so 
fucked up. So I told Cutie, I was like, I'm coming back. I'm no collabs. I'm done talk. Like I'm done fucking with anybody. Like I don't. Wanna- I was like, not me, right? <laughs> I was like, I don't want to work with anybody. Like I don't want to touch anybody in this industry. Like, I don't want to get good, involved. Sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to get involved in in anything ever again. I want to be in my own lane, and I want to do this animal thing, and I want to like never have to do anything like this again, and never be involved again. And so I was like, so I I can't do wine about it. I was like, I'm cutting everything. And sad. You can take it from there. <laughs> well, uh, the. <laughs> She she calls me the morning that I'm going to G4 for Hey Donna. And I'm in a back of an Uber because I was crying so much I couldn't drive. Why? Cause I was, what do you mean? Why was I crying? Yeah, I don't remember what happened that day. Are you talking about this? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were crying about something before I called you. No, no, okay. no, no. I was fine. Well, as fine as I usually am. Right. But <laughs> I... uh. So I, I'm like crying because for people like you guys, you guys maybe don't know this. Uh, it was, it's more than like a, it's been more than a podcast to me. Maya sounds lame. I don't want to say this out loud. Um, what? Uh, Maya has become my only friend, especially the only social human interaction I'd have outside of my boyfriend, quite literally. Um, and so once a month I would look forward to Maya coming because it's the one time I had a friend. So it's more than just like a podcast. Like, yes, I believe in a podcast. And yes, like, you know, one factor is like, oh man, we put so many hours into this. I've worked so hard on this and she's just throwing it away. And what did I do? And blah, 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 all these things. But the biggest thing of all of it is it it just felt like a breakup. And she kept saying to me, she was like, she's like, no, we'll still be friends. And I was like, yeah, that never see each other like ever, you know? And she was like, like, no, surely, surely we can hang out. And I was like, no, like there was... There was a uh, probably a month period where I didn't even talk to you. Two months. Really? It was two full months, cutie. It was bad. I was so People don't know we've never talked about this. Yeah. Two months me and cutie did not speak. I was heartbroken. Yeah, it was bad. And it was not what I expected. Yeah. Like, me bringing that to you, I fully thought that because we were still talking every day like we do now yeah. you know we're still yeah. like calling every day talk whatever well i and feel I like, like otherwise i was still very supportive of your like journey like i was like yeah fuck it like don't do yeah. that like we could just do wine about it and we'll make money That's and true. blah blah yeah um and so when i told her that i didn't even think that it was going to be that crazy of a revelation because i talked to her about like how everything was and i was like i just want out i was like i want out i like want to find the text i sent you is that crazy you do not want to find those texts i i just want to see what i said to you i could find them i'm kind of interested i i know i have them like because i just don't delete text messages but Um, i i think it just like like i was in i was in an uber to g4 and i'm crying in the back seat like i'm losing my mind and uh because again it's just more than a podcast like it's just more than a podcast for me especially maya has tons of friends she's fine i'm a very sad soul um and and also then i also like felt guilty because i was like oh i'm being a bad friend by not supporting her decision so like my own like feelings towards that made me feel really guilty too um yeah it was it was a lot and then and then I'm in the G4 dressing room and they keep, they're like, hey, can we pull you in for makeup? And I was, I was still crying and they're like, oh, we'll give you 15 more minutes. And they're like, can we pull you in for makeup? And I was like, still crying. <laughs> like, oh, we'll oh give you 15 God. more minutes. And then Austin comes in and he tries to give me a hug. And then Will comes in and he tries to give me a hug and they try to calm me down. Finally, we get my makeup done and I'm like, okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. And then I go in the room. And I just start crying. <laughs> then I do my makeup twice that day. And then I went on Hey Donna. I did a fine job, but I, I got all my tears out for sure. Um, but yeah, I... I don't know exactly why I decided not to talk to you. I think I just said, I don't know. I don't remember. I just felt like you, oh, I felt like it was like a decision very much so that um, you made without me. And so that was another thing that upset me is like you, you pulled the plug instead of bringing me into the decision to pull it. Which right. inevitably the plug would have been pulled anyway, but I was just like, damn. That is like, fair. I brought it to her and I was like, cutie, I can't do wine about it anymore. And wine about it's obviously very 50 50. But the reason I went into it like that is because I knew that, like, for myself, I couldn't do anything else. 
you know, like coming back into content. I was like, I'm yeah. not touching anything else. So I knew that that was the decision already. So I like brought her the decision instead of like having a conversation. You know, I just told her my decision. It was mean. Um, so that was part of it. But then I thought that it was going to be not like chill. I knew it was going to be sad, but I thought we'd be fine. And it would just be like, we would be friends off stream, you know, like we were already. And I was like, we can meet up places. Like, we can go do, like, weekend trips or whatever, like, or stuff like that. I have to turn off the um, stupid freaking twinkle lights. Do you see them? They keep... Yeah. One second. Um, and Cutie's perspective was, you know if we're not working that we won't meet up. And Which is fair. It's fair. It's Cutie and I have a problem. And when we're together, we work very hard. And when we're separate, we work very hard. And we don't take time off, uh, really. And so we knew like oh what we're gonna take a weekend off of streaming just to go hang out and not make content or like well, not plus work. i can't fly so it's like and she can't fly but i like offered up like i looked up i sent did find a place. cutie like a place to go i was like we can go we can you can drive i will fly here and we can hang out here like that's that was my like these lights <laughs> solution thing what do i do um dude these texts are so bad are they <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I couldn't them. find them. I found them. I looked up one word. <laughs> what word? <laughs> I don't want to say it. I feel like it's what is the word? I, I looked up the word selfish. <laughs> oh, I called you that. Yeah, it, you and that, that's how I found this immediately. I did call you that. It was, Cutie just thought that I was deciding to not be her friend anymore because I was deciding to not come to LA anymore and she thought that that meant that I was like, not wanting to be her friend that this was me like breaking up with her friendship wise you did break up with me I'll and to me her. that's not what it was at all i was just like i just don't want to do a podcast i thought we were still gonna be the exact same but she saw it very differently and uh it was very ugly and then she didn't talk to me for two months yeah i had a lot to process because i didn't want to talk to her if i was still mad at her yeah oh my god you were so mad at me <laughs> I was so mad at you. You were so mad. I was really mad. This is crazy. I stand by what Mad Me said. I That's don't know crazy. What I said, but I'm sure I stand by it. No. Ah! It, Cutie was valid in, in being hurt and being like scared that she lost her only friend. That's very traumatic, right? Um, I was valid in knowing what boundary I had to set in order to survive coming back to content creation because it was one of the most traumatic experiences of my life <laughs> like yeah. that that whole thing was like incredibly traumatic so i knew what i had to do and so i had to set that boundary um and you know it's not what kitty wanted so i was mad she was pissed yeah it's oh, bad i hear ludwig he's bringing me coffee that's nice i think yay the other thing that you got really mad about is i told you that um, moral of the story oh i was saying the other thing that you were really mad about is because i said that i didn't want to come stay at your house because yeah this because, bitch she was like i'm no, never coming to your house again because your house is a rotating streamer hotel that's not my choice i i know but it's where you live and it's i wanted no part of the streamer world i was like i want out i don't want to touch any of these people i was like i can't come to la anymore like i don't want to be around yeah that's why i was industry. crying because i can't get on an airplane yeah, I was like, I can't be in the industry. But that's why I told you. I was like, so we can go meet up here. We can go do this. We can come oh, here. We and then great. Now you we're got a pissed secret when I said that. Um, I you got pissed when I said that. And then I, I said, I said, I don't want to come to LA and hang out with people. And I don't want to chill at your house because I need to be as far away from the streaming world as possible. But I do want to hang out with you. And you said, that's all contradictory. And I said, I sent you yeah, a bunch of question marks. And I said, there are so many options that's literally only one option is me coming to your house <laughs> i don't remember my reasoning but i surely <laughs> and then you said you decided and i was like what do you mean i meant like you decided without me you just decided she was to... a mad emotional girl yeah she i was, was crying yeah it was bad it was bad it's not what i expected it went a lot worse than i thought yeah i see you said you're like cutie it's not like we can't be friends and then i yeah. and then you're like there are countless of ways to sustain a friendship it's just going to be different and then i said you're admitting it it's going to be different and that was your yes. choice yeah i was mad about it 
I wasn't just whining about it. I was mad about it. Yeah, she was really mad. I was pissed. Well, yeah, I mean, you can't control how you process things or how you feel about things. So yeah, I was. You just got to stand by that, and I got to stand by. I I set boundaries that I really had to at that time. Um, so yeah, uh-huh. it was really ugly. That's how whine about it ended. So the moral of the story is uh, that's on me, folks. Kind of. I'm sorry. Um, I uh, that was me that couldn't do it at the time um it happens happens yeah, yeah I surely just, I, just... I will get in internet drama at some point again yeah and then you'll quit whine about it and then i won't and talk to you for two months it. and then you can join fear and okay um speaking of drama i'm not joining fear and you actually decided that that's Today. a crazy thing to say on this podcast are, i know i'm just like starting really... drama she told me this for the first time earlier today and so i think it's crazy that you're announcing it and not like sleeping on it no i like drama baiting i'll okay, probably be so on it this week decided. you know yeah. no. she hasn't no. decided but i'm not doing it i'm not doing fear no one listens to me it's frustrating oh that's actually drama it is drama no one listens to me i want better thumbnails i want better titles i want chapters no one freaking listens they just ignore me and it's like why am i here if no one's gonna listen to me and so anyway i give up I give up. I'm focusing on wine about it. So all all of you guys in the comments in fear and saying, I love this podcast all because of cutie. There's so many. Believe me, there's so many. Um, mm-hmm. Come on over to the wine. Don't, don't say that. What? <laughs> what? You can't poach them so, so explicitly. Oh, I can. I, oh, I can. You know, I'll listen to your guys' feedback oh, over God. here. Nobody listens to me. Nobody listens to me. That's actually, this is super, uh, I'm being super as i'm sitting here there's a message from hassan and will being like we love having you on oh <laughs> i God, love them for so the record true. i do love them i just it's just i don't know if i were to leave fear and it's genuinely i i want to do both i do want to do both they're both very different vibes yesterday okay hear me out maya do you mm. love giving head <laughs> no i mean i right. like it but i'm not like oh i love this thank you do you think you're good Don't at it? Don't tell me that men said that no. girls love it. Yes. No, 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 no. They're like, Hassan was like, girls that love giving head are better at head. And I was like, no girl loves giving head. There's just, they're just saying that because they want to be a man's girl. Like I said, any girl in the Hassan whole entire world. thinks that there are girls that like love the, that they love get it. off on it. Like, oh man. And I said, you're naive. Every woman in the whole entire world. I've said that to a guy. Oh, I love giving it. Of course yeah, I've said that to a guy. Right, yeah. I didn't mean it. <laughs> I was just trying to be a cool girl. Yeah, same. I've done, I mean, don't get... Okay, don't get us wrong. It's it's nice. It's nice. Yeah, it's nice. But like, it's fine. Yeah. Pleasing your partner is great. But yeah, it's like great. saying I, I love ice cream. I don't love giving head. <laughs> like, if I can have a bowl of ice cream or give head, I'm gonna have ice cream. How do we get so off track? Sorry. We're supposed to... We're supposed to... We're sequentially going through how we got back here. Where we said, what the hell happened? So we talked about how we broke up, and now we're talking about how we got back together. Maya broke up. She was like, do you want to go to a vineyard together? And I was like, no, don't talk to me. Yeah, and she was like, go f*** yourself. (laughs) I did. I was pissed. I was so mad. I was like, I'm sorry, I'm trying. She broke up with me. I'm trying to still be your friend. I think uh, the, the trauma comes from every female friend I've ever had in my life moves away and then disappears. Mm every single one i knew there was trauma because i your feelings are valid i know you can't control them but i was like this feels i was like this feels like a reasonable thing for me to do and it feels crazy that it's devolved into what it is like us not talking for two months i was like this is not what i expected um but yeah yeah, i knew it came from trauma for sure i actually spent a lot of that two months being like like going through your past and being like i wonder what nerve i hit on accident from who whoopsie before whoopsie. me you know my mom she died and super i disappeared. literally <laughs> dude i talked to my therapist about that yeah i was like do you think that i tapped into her abandonment issues because she lost yeah. her mom and my yeah. therapist was like yes and i was like yeah. well <laughs> damn it my therapist said that too i actually because i've had a problem i've talked to my therapist because i'm mostly only friends with guys and it frustrates me because then i'm like You're oh so i have different. i have no girls i can talk to plus like i'm just so different i'm so quirky and different yeah um but genuinely like i want like i I see those like core groups of like girlfriends and i envy that but the issue is is i close myself off to that because of junior high and high school and elementary school because i just it's always been girls that have bullied me it's never been like guys 
Besides, like, ex-boyfriends, but they don't count. They I really deserved it. Bully you, yeah. <laughs> they didn't really bully me. It was just, you know. Audio listeners, yeah. I hit myself farted. in the hand. <laughs> she farted. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think, uh, do you know what I'm most paranoid about? This is so bad. This is so bad because I feel like sometimes I have issues and then I, I voice them in the atmosphere and it either like confirms them or denies them. But even if people are like, no, that's not a problem. I'm going to think it anyway. I am so nervous. Like we come, we bring back. I don't think that we're talking any differently than we ever have, but I'm so nervous. This comes back. It's on YouTube freaking on Wednesday. And the comments are like, man, not the same. It's not like it used to be. It's not like it used to be when we're literally yeah. the same people. No, for sure. That's like absolutely Upstairs. a possibility. That's re realistic. But so far, oh, Will Neff really is excited. calling me. He misses me. Deny it. Yeah, bitch, I'm on my other podcast. <laughs> listen to my listen to my feedback. I want better thumbnails. He's listening to the podcast right now. He was like, "Kidu, why would you say that?" <laughs> I love Will Neff. I love him. He's great. I actually, again, I'm probably not actually living fair end. I'm just having a moment. <laughs> She's having a moment. I'm having a moment. I have moments. What were we talking about? We we're talking about me tapping into your trauma. Yeah, I have trauma. Your girlfriend's um, just. Like, I actually went to therapy today, and I was mad. I go to therapy, and Judy, I said to her, "What?" I just had my last therapy session. We worked through so much anger; it was crazy. I've never had anger. Really? Like I oh, do I was mad at, at my this therapist. Point in my life. Oh, yeah. why? Because I was like, "This is pointless." <laughs> oh, I said, "I have not. I don't feel better. It's been months, and I've gone. I've tried multiple therapists because that's what you're supposed to do. So the problem is clearly me. I am the variable." Um, but it's frustrating because she gives me a list. So I have, um, you know, uh, probably the biggest issues is I have self-worth problems. That's why I'm always feeling guilty. That's why, like, if I stand up for myself, I feel guilty instead of being like, I deserve better. Instead, I'm like, oh my God, I made them feel bad. Like, you know, um, mm -hmm. and so she's like, oh, that comes from not having self-worth and like all sorts of other things. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. If you watch my stream, you know, I I've got issues, but anyway. Um, and so she's like, well, what you need to do is you need to... Every time someone says something nice to you, this was like her assignment to me like a month ago was instead of saying, cause I usually say you're so nice. Like if people say like, oh, the award show was great. I'll be like, oh, you're, you're so like, nice. Oh, you're Thanks so for nice. coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Instead of saying thank you. And so that was my first step. I kind of sucked at it, but still working on it. And then today she was like, okay, we're going to take it further. Every time someone says something nice to you, you're going to write it down. Mm, I was like, I don't that. have time for that. Yeah. I, was I like, hate when I get homework from my therapist. I never do it. I, was, I just, and like, obviously I need to do it because I can't be like complaining to her. Like nothing in my life has changed since I've started seeing you. But like, I, I was like, I was like, cause also like therapists don't understand Twitch chat. And I'm like, every single day someone resubscribes and they're like, you're the best streamer ever. Do I write that down? Yeah, cause right. I that like, d uh, and so I don't know. I, don't I mean, know. maybe it would help. Maybe it would work if you had like a, I need a book probably. that you could read it. Maybe. The issue is, is should we've tried, um, we've tried doing positive affirmations where you like look in the mirror and you're like, I am smart. I am kind. I am successful. Like whatever. I'm pretty. And the issue is, is my, uh, judgment brain is so harsh that the positive affirmations also equal negative affirmations. Cause I'll, I'll look in the mirror and I'll be like, you are smart. And I'll be like, you're so fucking dumb. <laughs> you are pretty mm. you're so ugly. <laughs> so just like, it's like, I can't shut up that part of my brain. So that's why she's like, okay, we'll try something else. <laughs> But it's, man, it's so frustrating. So I, I didn't want to go to therapy today. I haven't wanted to go to therapy for the last few weeks. But uh, I went today and I just told her, I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm so sick of therapy. I have no interest in going. But I need to keep going, obviously, because as you should. But I'm at such a standstill. I'm so mad. Yeah. I don't know. The only advice that I have for you is that she's a professional. And you should probably just, like, actually try to do what she's doing and maybe it would work. Yeah, I'm going to try. But, but it seems actually it. annoying. It is really annoying. I had a conversation with my therapist our last session. I'm not an angry person. You know that. I, I like, yeah, you don't, I don't get angry. I don't get angry. I'm not like a yeller. I'm not like a punch hole through wall. Like, I'm, just I'm like, an angry don't. person. I don't get angry. Yeah, you're not. Um, but lately, I've been angry. <laughs> but in what way? Like, how does it manifest in you? Um, certainly not physically. Nobody can tell. I just get like, I think about things and I think about them over and over and over. And I get more angry each time I think about them. And so mm. I was talking to her and I was like, I just, I just didn't used to feel this way about people. Yeah. I'm angry that what the streaming industry has done to me as a person has made me see yeah. humanity so differently. I meet mm -hmm. new people now and instead of being like, oh, they're great. I am immediately like, what's the angle? You know, I, mm -hmm. I talk to someone at a party. They're yeah. nice to me. I'm like, what do they want? 
you know i it's just like it's such a different perspective on yeah, people sucks. and that makes me angry because i liked how i was before but that's never gonna go away and she was like let's get to the root of it like let's talk about the people that you're angry at let's talk about blah 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 and she she asked me she was like how do you she, we we're talking about a particular person she was like how do you feel about this person like what like what do you truly like what's your strongest anger towards them like like convey it to me and i said that if their brain was on fire i would not piss in their ear because i feel like they don't deserve that much from me and i was like i truly that is like the i could craziest not sentence i've ever heard it in my is life. insane but i truly uh -huh. feel that way i was like i couldn't give them even like the smallest sliver of of any of my time or any positivity ever again and that's I, actually I truly, insane because i'm like, an angry I person hope... i've never felt that way I was like, I hope the absolute worst for them. Wow. Like, I'm so, I also, oh my God. least violent okay. person ever. Like, I yeah. want them to experience physical pain. It's oh, so unlike me. Oh, you want me to beat them up? I'll do it. It's so unlike me. Cool. Um, this is cool. It's crazy. Like it. It's crazy. It's a lot to process. The good thing about it is that apparently grief is, I mean, grief is in a bunch of stages. You probably know more about grief than I do. Grief is in like, a bunch of I stages. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> okay, that's tragic. Yeah. Um. But anger is like further anger is after sadness. Oh, that's I great. Think. And so she was like, You're you're just progressing along this line of like this this grief that you have for your former self. And I was like, Well, Whoa. that sucks. But yeah, so I'm oh, in that's an angry interesting. Right it's not a grief Oh, when you said grief, I initially thought like over the person that you're mad at, but no, it's over your former self. Mm-hmm Weird. Yeah. Well it's it's my former self, it is like the, the life that I was living before. I used to just be, I used to just, like, be, you know? I was yeah. just, like, I would just, like, go about my day, whatever, and now everything just has, like, infinitely more layers where, mm -hmm. like, I'm thinking about everyone's angles and I'm thinking about, like, yeah. how I feel about it, I think about, and I'm angry and I'm sad and I'm what, and it just, all the layers make it so much heavier and I just, like, I just I so had a, it, it's crazy, I'm gonna give people examples because a lot of people are like, what do you mean ulterior motives? What do you mean angles? So a few weeks ago, I, I hung out with a, with a streamer um and uh, they were they were staying with someone else another streamer that i don't know um this is like before streamer awards um when people oh. are in town yeah. and um they they're hanging out and i'm like i'm like hey do you want to get dinner i go and get dinner with this person and they're like they're like yeah the the girl um the girl i'm staying with really wanted to come to dinner and i was like what i i don't know her and they were like yeah but like they follow you on Instagram and they were like really weird about it. I don't really know what to like say to them and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, uh, you just say no. Like, <laughs> you know, and they're like, oh, well, they really want to meet you. And I'm like, well, why? Why would you want to meet me if it wasn't for like, like, this is my first time meeting this other person and we're just going to dinner. And so why does this person want to tag along? Like, I've messaged this person a few times. So that's why I want to go to dinner with them. We have like, you know, a blossoming friendship compared to like a complete stranger and it's like why do you want to meet me like what and it is it is literally like you know come to find out this person very much so only cares about like twitter followers and instagram followers and this 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 and it's just like dang you know like i just want to get lunch i don't want to i don't want to be a, a spectacle of like oh wow half a million people follow her on twitter that means she's cool like i assure you it doesn't mean i'm cool like <laughs> yeah she's not it's it's just it's just luck but it is it is really interesting that sometimes people will get close to you for certain things and you're like oh dang i just so it's like we have to find friends outside of the industry but it's nearly mm -hmm. impossible because this industry is so isolating mm -hmm. um that like you know i i want to join a normie hiking group and um i'm scared that i'll have nothing to talk to them about because i they won't know so i'm pretty happy with my i've been hanging out with a lot of league of legends people and I, I've been really happy with it because they know enough about my world, but then they also don't give a sh**. And it's mm -hmm. like, great! Like, so I, yeah. I've been really excited about that. But it is really interesting how you do lose faith in, like, even people's intentions. I truly, like... And it's also... It, what sucks is that it's gone beyond the industry. Like, it, it, it goes to normies as well. Like, I think it started... I, I had this interaction with a... I had an interaction... Um, with a cashier i don't even remember what they said it was so normal it was such a normal experience and they were like exceptionally nice to me and i was like is that a viewer like i was like why were oh, they so weird. nice to me? i was like i wonder if that was a viewer like they were just like yeah that's even nice. further out of the space and then when i look back at it i was like that was so not a viewer that was, like, that just, was just a human a, being that nice. was just like a bubbly girl 
you know? Oh, that's and, so sad. Yeah, and I was like, I'm so mad that I'm like that. And it's not even like that I've been – I feel like I've been made into that and it pisses me off. Like, I'm, I'm like, angry now yeah. thinking about it. Yeah. That's fair. Well, guys – this is a perfect time to plug Streamlabs. Everybody, if you want to be a streamer, just kidding. <laughs> I was like, imagine. I like, was we got not a sponsor? Aware. <laughs> no, I just thought it'd be funny. <laughs> thought it'd be funny to tell people to stream now, but they won't. Um, anyway, so long story short, I, I, I reached out to Maya in when? December then? When did I when say I would talk to you again? Me again? Yeah. Well, okay, first of all, halfway between this point, you said you don't feel like you said I don't really feel like talking right now, but I need your advice on something. And then you called me That's and you talked funny. to me about some you talked oh. to me about some drama. <gasps> yeah, it was bad though. It was bad drama. Um and I, I gave wish I you, could talk about it. I gave you my advice and then we were like, All right, later. You hung up and then didn't talk to me for another month. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um It was drama. Chat. I or viewers, I won't say whomst but i got fed through the pipeline a streamer was cheating on their girlfriend and i had to be the one to call and break the freaking news so essentially so, a, a, a viewer a viewer reached out to like my mod team and blah blah and they were like hey uh, are they in an open relationship and i was like uh oh time to chat and so we had to have a whole conversation i find out that this person is cheating on somebody and then I have to do all that stuff. And actually, that's a fascinating topic to talk about because I found a divide in that the is, genders. Yeah, that I is. I did. I, and I, I think it's pretty object. I think it's stupid. The divide. The divide is crazy. Because, listen, guys. Okay. You find out someone's cheating. It is girl code, at least in my opinion, to tell the woman. So that's what that was my first thing. I give the guy a chance. The first thing I did was, well, I talked to Maya. I had to talk to Maya. Talk to Maya call the guy and i say hey what's going on and he's like nothing and i'm like eh, really and then i like i like you know give him the evidence and he's like oh it's no big deal I'll, I'll talk to you in a week and i'm like okay but you like have to tell her this week or i'm gonna tell her And he's like oh i appreciate you for giving me the grace like thank you so much like i deserve like i deserve to tell her she deserves to hear it from me and i'm like okay champ like good luck out there um Anyway, fast forward, I hear nothing from him. It's, like, been a week and a half. I hear nothing from him. They're still, like, posting pictures together. And I was like, he didn't tell her. You know? And so then I, I'm like, am I crazy? And so I start asking a few other people. I didn't want to, like, be Leaky McGee, but I did need advice because it's like, this is a scary thing to have to handle. So I, I would ask some males and some females. And every female was like, you tell the girl. Like, especially if he's holding it back, you tell the girl. Every guy I asked was like, so stay cringe. out of it. Stay None out of it. Business. It's not yeah. your business. It's not like, your relationship. What? That's disgusting. Isn't that's that crazy? So, that's so like genuinely. Would they want that? If they were getting cheated on, they wouldn't want someone to tell them because it's it's none of that person's business. That makes no sense to me. It's so crazy. It's because so they're not crazy. the ones getting cheated on. Is is the thing? Yeah. That's all well, it is. Yeah. It's probably the guy. Uh, yeah. And so every every person I asked or every guy was like, no. And I'm just I'm genuinely curious because we do have a lot of male watchers is that bro code is it because that is not girl code girl code is you tell the girl even if you hate the girl it could be someone you freaking hate you're it's not okay you can't like bro what? code girl code it it's so That's what objectively, it feels like it is like you're gonna let somebody waste more of their time with somebody and get cheated on when you know you don't feel like that's your responsibility as a human male or female to to like stop their hurt before they waste years in a relationship not finding out i think that's I think it's super f***ed. I think, well, and that's what I said. I would say to people, I was like, if you knew that Ludwig was cheating on me and you didn't tell me. I would never talk to them again. And they would just, they I would just never like talk to stare them at me. They'd be like, I don't know. And I was like, huh? What? Like, just fascinating. Fascinating stuff. So I I'm curious if anyone's ever been in that situation yeah, and no. what you did. So inevitably, I, I, I text him. It's like been two weeks or something. And I'm like, hey, did you tell her? And he's like, yep, we're good. And I was like, no, you didn't so then i call the girl i said hey i just wanted to check in on you is everything okay and she's like yeah and i'm like are you alone and she's like yeah and i'm like okay did he tell you about so and so and she's like what and i'm like god damn it so then you know you have to tell her and i told her everything and it was the most painful situation to be involved in but 
she deserved to know and he just lied about telling her and it's like my gosh like what jesus duh that was that was messed up so that was, was when messed up. but that's i needed maya's advice and she told me not to tell her <laughs> that is not what i said <laughs> I said, I said I exactly like, what you did. Don't be involved. No, I said exactly what she did. I said, I said, um, give him the, ch like, tell him that you know, tell him that he needs to tell her that it should come from him, and then if he doesn't, then you tell her. It was That's just crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy that if you were confronted, somebody tells you, like, hey, I know this. There's no way I was the only one that knew, for the record. Mm -hmm. Like, it definitely, like, other people definitely would have known. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know but whatever anyway i got so you the information me that, where it needed to be you texted me that in october mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um and then i sent you late october i sent you the like like the dude ranch i was like we can oh yeah she found a dude ranch off stream um and then you said you still didn't want to talk to me and i was like i'll let you figure it out man it was so weird it was like it wasn't like it's hard to explain. It wasn't like, I just didn't know how to talk to you like a normal person, I think. Because I was just like so mad that I was like, no, she doesn't deserve my friendship. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> you broke up with me. This is not, can you, you acknowledge now after feeling all the feelings that you did that like, I still wanted to be your friend. I just could not do this. I can, I, like... I can acknowledge that you still wanted to be my friend. I just didn't know how that was even possible was my problem. Can you acknowledge that we did continue to be friends? That we were friends yeah, before? Why about though. it? <laughs> okay, but like... I've hated being your friend ever since. <laughs> Once Kiri started talking to me again, we were still friends. Which is what I thought was going to happen. Uh-huh. And then... Do you want me to tell you we... you were right or something? Because I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. I know I'm right. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. Um, and then we... I don't actually remember how the conversation started. I We we were on the phone one time and you said something about, like, a mini set. I don't, you I, brought it up, I think. I was slowly, I was slowly incepting you. You yeah. don't know this, but I was incepting you. No, I know, I know. I was incepting you. <laughs> Every once in a while we'd be on a call and I'd be like, you know what we should do? We should start a podcast. And, she, and then she started joking about it. I was like, oh, she's joking about it. I mean, she might be interested. And then, uh, and then Ludwig, Ludwig gave me this lecture about how dumb we are for, cause we'd get off, the, we'd talk on the phone for three hours and then he'd be mm -hmm. like, you guys just need to record it. You just need to make money. And then, uh, and then I was, I was like, one time we we're just on the phone, Ludwig's in the car next to me and he just like elbowed me and I was like, okay, I'll do it. And I said, Maya, listen, <laughs> what if we both just get mini sets and we do it over discord? And you were like, I'll think about it. And I was like, huge. So here we are. I didn't know he was there. That's funny. Um, I remember that. that I was like brave enough. I was like, that I actually deal is with kind another of a cute rejection. idea. <laughs> um, but then, for some reason, I, so the reason I started thinking about it again is because when I came back to streaming, I was like, I'm not touching anybody or anything anymore. I was like, I'm, I'm out of this industry. Like, I'm just focusing on conservation, and I'm focusing on Elvis, and that's it. Uh, and I wanted to cut all of my public ties with people um, because I was like, I don't want to touch anybody. But ever since I came back to streaming, my association with Cutie as my friend was public since i came back like everyone knew we were still talking like everyone knew we were still friends um and so i was like that has been an exception to the collab thing since since i came back so like that doesn't really make a difference um and we were still talking every day and we talked about like we don't need to have guests like we don't need it to be a drama podcast so but then our first episode was drama farmed ayo <laughs> oh true my bad that was my bad I am still learning one to shut up. Shut up. I'm getting better. Yeah, no. but like, I don't know. We we had talked about it, and I was like, honestly, this feels kind of safe. It's also not on Twitch, and Twitch is like the the source of yeah. the toxicity. You know, it's 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 Twitch and LSF. That's that's where the worst of it comes from. And so it being on YouTube and it being on Patreon felt much safer to me. I still. The, with thinking about wine about it being back, I still felt safe. I still felt like I could be on my own island, living at the sanctuary, doing my own thing, like, and would still feel safe doing it. And so, and we were talking every day anyway. So that's why we decided to bring it back. And I will try not to get us canceled. Thank you. Me too. But it's, it's like, <sighs> yeah. 
it, I think when one I, day we'll tell the story of us, how we met, and the sparks flew instantly. Taylor Swift wrote that song about us. If you, it's very ew. cute. It's a romantic song. So okay, um, <laughs> uh-huh. I could not have come back to whine about it, and I could not have come back to normal content when I came back to Twitch. I That's wasn't fair. even ready to come back to Twitch. I took two months off, and I did not want to come back. I'm telling you guys, if I didn't have Elvis, I would not have a platform anymore i would not be a streamer like i would not be a youtuber i, I would not be making content i would be applying for normal jobs like i would i would be getting i got canceled job. for looking for a personal assistant <laughs> the internet's True. awful to be a part of <laughs> yeah but truly if i didn't have Alveus and i didn't want a platform to teach people about conservation i would not have a platform um and when i came back to it there was no way i could have done anything except for Alveus because i didn't even want to be there in the first place so it did take i i needed the time that that i took in coming back before coming back to whine about it and that's part of why it took a sec you know uh, right before you came back was the closest i got to replacing you too that's true i was having you mul- were she, i was having yeah, multiple was conversations people. with people before uh before maya came back um pernilla ludwig's sister was one of them taylor my assistant was one of them uh i messaged leslie um because well i messaged valkyrie Ray was probably my closest one um, I was like pretty Valkyrie Ray and I were talking and I was like, okay, after streamer awards, we're going to figure this out. And she's like, okay. And then she was like, Leslie want, has wanted to do a podcast too. So then I messaged Ludwig, Leslie and I was like, imagine the three of us. And then, um, anyway, it was a whole thing. But, uh, then one last ditch effort is when, uh, all of a sudden Maya was like, yo, I'll do it. And then I was like, what? <laughs> I will say too, cutie told me about all of these I did. Things. I wasn't, it wasn't like, shady. I was keeping her updated. She was telling me like. I talked to blank. I talked to blank about, about doing one about it with me. I talked to blank and I was super supportive the whole time. Cause I was like, yeah, we built this brand together just cause I decided to leave. It doesn't mean that you have to scrap it. We have like almost hundred K on YouTube. Um, and if, if you want to use that with someone else, go for it, like do it. It's your brand too. You know? So I was supportive about it the whole time. Yeah. I also, I, uh, I also had this idea of doing like multiple, like having a guest each week and just seeing who i would stick with because when maya and i first started talking it was the housewives podcast Hmm. and then we just started talking after that so sometimes content is a gateway drug to friendship (laughs) genuinely because i it's like even like valkyrie and i we're much closer than we were before and we wouldn't have gotten closer if it wasn't for those streams and then hanging out afterwards you know like Mm -hmm. you you learn it's weird it's like a streaming together is like uh you know two shots before book club <laughs> because mm-hmm. you talk it like for some reason yeah, the, the chat like it. loosens you up a little bit i don't yeah. know that's true i agree but yeah. you missed me you can tell me you can tell us you missed it the podcast you, yeah happy? no it's cool she's happy this is nice i'm excited i think it'll be good I need to also, fix my lighting so it looks like your lighting because I look like a... Well, I was, that's why I tried to turn mine down, but it still looks super different. So we're it's fine. It's a work in progress. It's a new podcast. It's a new old podcast. Um, I would also like to go on public record and say that I was... No. Okay. I was going to say I was wrong about Patreon, but that's not true because I knew what Patreon... Like, I knew the potential of Patreon. Yeah. Patreon would be good. Yeah. I was wrong in thinking that Patreon had to be one thing and that one thing to me was parasocial i think that there are ways to do it we like now i understand that there are ways to do it that feel okay um to me and feel ethical to me um where we're still making we sell cool stuff yeah we do have cool stuff on there um but it doesn't feel gross i always thought that it would feel gross and and i was wrong about that and so i kept us from making a lot of money for this podcast and that is on she kept me poor yeah but soon, soon we're going to pass the yard and we're going to do a nude calendar. Yep. What? Okay. <laughs> well, that's one of the goals of Fear Ann is they want to do a, a nearly nude calendar. And I was like, I'll do it. I decided I'd do, do it. Do not. No, I thought it'd be funny to do one. Obviously, if I leave Fear Ann, I'm not going to do it. But I thought it'd be funny to do one uh, in uh, June for my birthday and have me in the kitchen just like, not like naked, just shirt off. But with like two cakes in front of my boobs. I thought it'd be funny. It's kind of like we did a photo shoot. Maya and I did a photo shoot. We never posted any pictures because I looked like uh, a blob. But I put a uh, pizza in front of my boobs because I thought it'd but be funny. She did do that. But that it looked bad. Funny. It actually wasn't very cute. Those exist somewhere. They do exist. Come on Patreon. 
I'm down. I don't know what it looks. I don't. Sick. I'll have to find it. I'd have to find them. I don't. We'll have to edit out. out my chest knee for sure. Mm. But I, I, I thought it'd be funny, but I actually don't. I wouldn't. Um, I wouldn't do unfunny sexual con. I feel like I feel like I have the Amy Poehler effect. Amy Poehler, Tina Fey. They're like mm. not sexy. No, no. You could definitely be sexy if you like. If I tried. I think. Um, yeah, we'll try I, that. I think I could be if I tried. I just don't try very hard. Yeah. It's but true. so could Is this too dark? So Does it look bad now? No, it looks fine. Okay. Um, but where are we at in time? Uh, it's been an hour. Exactly? Yes. An hour and two minutes. Ooh. So we cut our segment out. All right. Well, we got 15 minutes left. A little bit. Um, Maya, hello. Are you going to tell us about how she has a boyfriend? <laughs> Maya has, Maya has a boyfriend. Maya has a boyfriend. You're lying to me. This does look bad. I. It's like it got grainy. Okay. Um, Maya does have a boyfriend. Yes. Okay. New developments. New developments. Um, I've talked about having a boyfriend on stream. It's been a long time. I feel like um, people still don't know. So I never say anything yeah. on my stream. People Maya's on YouTube don't. Maya's got a freaking don't. boyfriend, guys. Yeah, and I've had a boyfriend for like. It, and it's she like likes coming him, up on a year. Like tall it's we've, and dark I, and handsome. He's hot. <laughs> he's so hot. <laughs> um yeah it, it's, it's actually it's, really nice it's been a long time um and i didn't tell stream for a while because because you don't owe it to them you don't owe it to those bitches no, yeah it just it just felt like you don't owe better it. to not tell them until well it I was, would like, suck very it would suck it. <laughs> it suck like you're like talking to a guy you like meet on tinder blah blah, blah and like you're like chat i have a uh, i'm talking to a guy and then two weeks later you're like no i'm not <laughs> right exactly i wanted Literally. to i wanted to be public about it when i was very serious about it um uh but yeah, I, I have, I've never been with a guy who's so nice to me. Yeah, it's actually weird. Like, Cutie knows all of these things. It's, it's crazy. He treats me like I am the most special, most deserving, like, best person ever. It's crazy. I think it's funny because he's so nice to her that one time he, she called me and she was like, I feel guilty because yeah. he is nice to me. No, you know what I told you is uh -huh. I was like, I have an over. We both have an overachieving complex. Oh, know? this is what like it was. we're both like, yeah. not competitive, but that we like need to over. Like we need. To I will be say the you're best. the like we you're one to, of like, the first people. Well, there's a few people, but you are someone that I never compete with. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay, but we like even we, though I, we I have, have an overachieving complex. Like we have to try really hard. It's way bigger. And I llamas. you don't have llamas. That's true. I have never been with a guy where i felt like i was underachieving i always feel like i'm the partner doing more and so yeah. i never feel bad about that i yeah. was used i'm always used to feeling bad because i'm like oh like they don't do nearly as much for me as i do for them that's like the usual you know um and to be with someone that was so good to me i literally called cutie one day and i was like dude i've never felt like a bad girlfriend before i was like i've never felt like i'm not doing enough but i do because he does so much for me D he's at he Elvis like he like walks every weekend he like walks down to like her car and like every will carry day. her sh and like will every make sure she's day. safe. He holds Bro, every door open for that's me. That's crazy. He carries my sh all the time. He buys he'll, me little cakes. We'll be, all yeah, the we'll time. be on the phone and sh and he'll come over and he'll be like, "Oh, I got you carrot cake. I got you cake and I got you flowers." It's crazy. It's crazy. It's every time. He's. So I would good be to me. It's so. Insane. I'd be. I'd gain so much weight if I was dating him. <laughs> I've thought about that before. He's always giving you treats. He's just, he's just so, I've also, you can attest to this. I have never, besides, I, I dated this guy for five years when I was in high school. And so my high school sweetheart, you just assume that like your white picket fence, like that's what it's going to be. Dude, this is so weird that you're saying this right now. Oh, this is tea. She's saying this live. Uh oh. This is not weird. You feel that you're so confident. I am so confident. Okay. I have never okay. dated a guy where I was like, I think this is it, you know, or where I've been like, yeah, mm -hmm. like I really see a future with this person. Like this is like the one you know this is this is it do you want to propose to him on wine about it you can do it no okay i except <laughs> and i'm saying that like except for that that guy that i dated for five years because that's just like naturally like what you're supposed to think but even mm -hmm. then it's not the same feeling i just i feel so good about this one which yeah. sucks for wine about it because i'm not gonna have good, yeah i was ready for the i was ready for the saga i was ready for the sleep around saga no everyone saga. needs one no. For me. crazy thing about the sleep around saga is i was a i was kind of in the hoe phase when we met 
Like the way that we met. Yeah, was, you were trying to be a hoe. I was. Yeah. yeah. And I didn't think it was going to go anywhere because I have a history of going for like the charismatic toll. And it's been. You don't say. <laughs> yeah. And it, <laughs> and it has not served me well. And so this one. You don't say. <laughs> this one who, not to say he's not charismatic, but he's certainly not an asshole. Um, no, he's is, like so nice. He's so nice. Sometimes is, he tells me stories and I'm like, is he okay? <laughs> he's also like really smart and normal. He's a normal. He's really he's smart. He actually job. gives us both advice on like yeah. stupid stuff. He's like, interest and stuff. He is sick. <laughs> I listeners, it's a feeling. You know, anyway. Listeners, she's um, gonna get married. Listeners, I'm getting married. If you to get man. married, I would I would throw the best bachelor and bride shower. We have literally yeah. talked about our Marriage wedding so because of you. What? He was like, You better still have wine about it by the time we get married because Cutie would make our wedding insane. And I was like, I, I know. would. It'd I be would. crazy. But I mean, you would not just whine about it because apparently we can be friends without whine about it. <laughs> yeah, we can be. We already proved that. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Anyway. Um, so when we, the, I've never actually told the story of when we first met. Um, we met at a bar through mutual friends. Like we were all like at a bar, whatever. I literally, I went up to him and started talking to him because I thought that he was the hottest one there. I didn't know him at all. Like That's I just so like, bold of you. Yeah. I was I've just done like, that one time in my life and I felt so cool. Dude. I was like, this one's the hottest. I was like, I want that one. You just had confidence out the wazoo. Confidence out the wazoo. So... I, I went up to him. I talked to him. We danced. We held hands. He How do came you back dance? To- what does that mean? Did you grind like seventh graders listening to Chris Brown? No, I was, we were facing each other. My arms were like over his neck. Oh, it was like slow dance? No. I hate it. I hate dancing. It was at a club. I mean, it was like sardines. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, we danced and then he came back to my apartment, but I was like, I don't. Oh, I, I, like, I didn't want to. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah. I didn't want to hook up with him. Mine was, I was weird. Like, I'm not trying to like have sex with this dude. So I gave him a blanket. I was like, "Here's the couch." He slept on the couch. I locked my bedroom door. Right. I'm like in my bedroom, probably texting Cutie. Like, this guy came home. There's with me. a boy I don't over. Know what to do yeah. Because I'm not hooking up with him. So like, what do I do? So he sleeps on the couch. The next morning, 8 a.m. rolls around. He's Why still, did you even invite there. him over if he wasn't gonna? It was, the way it happened was, like, Ubers were canceled. Like, Ubers canceled on him. Right. We were, like, sitting in my car at my apartment, like, waiting for him to get Ubers. And he was like, is it okay if I just, it's, like, 4 a.m. He was like, is it yeah. okay if I just stay here? And I was like, sure. So he came up. Um, 8 a.m. rolls around. He's he's not leaving. 9 a.m. rolls around. He's still in my apartment. 10 a.m. 11 a.m. It's, like, 11 a.m. He has not left. And I was like, I would hate that. What do I do? Mm-hmm. I was like, what do I do? I wanted him to leave and for us to not talk. I didn't think it was going to go anywhere because yeah. he was like the nice guy, you know, I was like, not who I go for normally. And I, I thought that was it. And so I wanted him to leave and for us to not have to do the awkward, like, oh, hey, whatever. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah. But he didn't eggs? leave and it's 11 a.m. I have to go to work. Like I have to yeah. go to Alveus. And I was like, I can't keep wasting It's also crazy because you're hiding here. in your bedroom at this point. Sitting. I could not leave you my wake bedroom. up at like 7 a.m. Yes, I'm yeah. sitting in my bedroom, could not leave because he's in my living room on my couch. And so finally, it's 11 a.m. I go outside my bedroom and I was like, you're still here. That's <laughs> what I said. Oh, that's and that, he was like, riz. yeah. And he was like, oh, yeah, I'm so sorry. I like and he was like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I know it's so late. I have been awake for hours, but I didn't want to leave. I thought you were still sleeping and I didn't want to leave your door unlocked if you were sleeping. That's and I was crazy. like, that's really nice that is i thought really it is I really like, nice but it's just crazy that was his thought i thought he was being like i thought he like wanted to talk to me or like wanted to like ask me to go to lunch or something no he was just like i was i thought you were still sleeping and so i didn't want to leave your door unlocked because that's like dangerous and i was like oh okay that's nice and then i saw him at a couple more parties and then he asked me on a date and then the rest is history the rest is history now you're yeah, in love. now we're in love now we're gonna yeah. get married i guess He's sick. He comes to Alves every weekend and literally shovel shit. He stays here and he builds me things and he cleans up poop and he cares about what I care about and supports me in what I care about and actually wants to help. It's amazing. My family loves him. He's smart. He's hot. I'm obsessed with him. It's Man, going great. She's in love. I'm in love. <laughs> That's crazy. It's going great. 
But now what's going to happen? Does he know? Does he know? Does he know that the good and the bad end up in the song? Ed Sheeran said that. Crazy that you bring that up. Mm-hmm. It was like towards the beginning of our relationship when everything fell apart in my career. Yeah. Like when all the calls were leaked, when everything was leaked, when everything was falling apart. Like it was like towards the beginning of us. And so I stayed with him for like a week and a half, maybe or something. Mm-hmm. And every day it was us just sitting, waiting, refreshing Reddit. Oh God. To see, like, that is the what... most miserable feeling in the whole wide world. Dude, I was thinking about it today because I got my lashes done today. Uh huh. During that week, one I had to get my lashes done once, and I had space in my headphones. We weren't even talking; we're both muted, right? But I had them in my headphones because I could not lay there an hour to get my lashes yeah. done without having a panic attack, not knowing if I had someone to tell me if something new happened. Yeah, it's so weird that when when controversy of any kind happens, that you just um. You're not in control at all. It's just people's perception, and there doesn't matter what your own narrative is. It's insane. It's crazy, and it's the worst feeling in the whole wide world. Um, something I've learned recently is I am just forever going to say... I'm just going to forever ignore it, I've decided. It's impossible. It's also... I say that, but I'm sure I'm wrong. You know how much honesty matters to me, and knowing that the truth doesn't matter, too? Like yeah. Like, in, in things like that was really just like sh- yeah. it just shredded me like i was like man this is crazy but that was at the beginning of our relationship and so it was like the beginning like when i i don't even know that i'd stayed with him that much before this happened and then all of a sudden i i could not be alone like i'm like uh, so i just stayed with him the whole time yeah like, and i and dumped just, you so we weren't hanging out yeah this was also no no it had to been later this was before it was later this yeah. was before i told i was you a good friend i just this was get on in a like plane. the thick of it thick of it yeah yeah um yeah, a lot was, of people really it's interesting because a lot of people i guess i can i can say this now a lot of people were like cutie why aren't you speaking about it publicly the issue is if i were to speak about any of that publicly it would just cause more hate mm-hmm. so it was a very conscious decision anyone who thinks i was a bad friend in that moment i promise it was calculated and like it cutie, just wasn't yeah that's yeah. Cutie's it wasn't worth it i'm trying i tried it, yeah forever and always i i learn every few months i am reminded it's just not worth saying anything ever even if it's the right thing just don't say it and that's also, what i hope i know for now yeah on. people <laughs> did give you a lot of shit for being a bad friend in that time but a lot of it was also out of your control so it was so out of my too. control yeah um yeah it's fine anyway also i was a bad friend <laughs> <laughs> um that was like part of the foundation of our relationship so it started ugly what about when you because he's not a content creator so what's gonna do you think he's gonna listen to whine about it ludwig doesn't listen to whine about it in fact i've like told ludwig i've been like don't listen to whine about it because if i come on here and i want to talk about freaking ludwig Ludwig, you know if i want to talk about fights or whatever if i want to talk about something i mean we talk about relationships on here it's something we talk yeah. about you know sometimes they filter in so this is our this is our chill area so i like told him not to watch it so i'm just curious has he said if he's gonna like watch it or i don't think he will but i haven't talked to him about it i mean it's not like you you haven't said it you've only said really nice things today but surely yeah. you know four months from now you're gonna be like this schmuck Dude, i don't have anything <laughs> negative to say i know we it's still actually haven't weird. fought yet which is crazy because normally for me crazy. it's like three three four months in that we like fight Ludwig left poop in the toilet yesterday. Damn. And it made me so mad. <laughs> That's really gross. It was really gross. And then it was stuck in my nose. All I could smell was poop. Oh. I was so mad. But he's great. <laughs> he's great. He's great. Um, um all right. But- I think we're are we where well, we think we're there. Yeah. It's been yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Wow! First episode back! A little rusty. We're a little rusty, but we're learning. I feel like we had so much more to talk about, too. Yeah, see, I told you. You worry about this every time. You're like, Maya, like, write down what you want to talk about. I haven't even told her about Selena and Haley and Justin Bieber. Please, no, we're not doing that. It's gonna be awesome. I don't want to do that. Um, I'm gonna do it. No. But you're always worried about us having stuff to talk about, and then we just talk, so it's fine. It was fine. It was great. I feel like um, I talk too much. I'm sorry. No, I, I feel great. I think I, this wasn't like, I'm nervous because this wasn't like a fun episode. We didn't talk about 
dicks and balls and cum. Um, but you know, we, we, we talked, we told the story and we, we feel like we did an okay job. I hope everyone's excited that we're back. If you want more wine about it, check us out on the Patreon. We have many episodes coming out. Guys, we have this week perhaps overdone ourselves with the Patreon. There is a lot going on over there. Q and I are going to watch Jersey Shore. We decided, right? Jersey Shore. We're going to watch Jersey Shore and react to it. That's going to be on the Patreon. And it's going to be offensive. I'm sure. Yeah, we have mini episodes where Cutie describes a Taylor Swift song and I tell you about a weird animal. Those go up on the Patreon. Um, we do stickers on the Patreon, recipe cards, art prints on the Patreon. There's extra oh, yeah. episodes have, on the Patreon. We do have like, good stuff. I forgot about those. Like this, except only on Patreon. Um, we have pet photo dumps on the Patreon. Um, and you get to know what wine we're drinking on the Patreon. And you get to know what wine we're drinking on Patreon's the Patreon. Patreon's... Hopefully there's like great truly there's there's a total i think it's like 16 episodes a month or something it's a lot it is um, a lot and only four of them are on youtube and everything else is on patreon wow yeah but also um i forgot okay like and subscribe yay like we're and subscribe. back tell your friends tell your we're, dads if you know what i mean we're almost at 100k on youtube that's huge yeah, we are. I, I'm very curious to see how this does coming back after a break. Yeah, it'll be I'm interesting. skewed. Yeah, same. I'm skewed. It'll be fine. All right. Well, signing off. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you so much for listening. Thank see you for watching. Next one. Leave in your comments what we should talk about. And if you think you should tell someone if they're getting cheated on. Yeah, what the heck? Uh, audio listeners, leave that nowhere. We're not gonna read your comments. Oh. That's mean. Bye! Bye!